What's going on guys, Geosnow right here, so in today's video we're going to discuss about the iPhone 7 jailbreak and I'm going to make things clear about where the iPhone 7 is going to be supported with uh, Yalu jailbreak for iOS 10.1.1 or 10.2 or not. So I'm going to start with the fact that by going in here to the um, uh, yalu.qwertyworryapp.com, the official link of the Yalu jailbreak, you're going to see that it says beta 7 and it says for all iOS 10 64-bit devices except iPhone 7. Why is that? So um, a lot of people ask me in the comment section, this is actually the most asked question on my comment section, will the iPhone 7 be supported by... Um, by the Yalu jailbreak or any of the Yalu jailbreaks or will iPhone 7 be ever jailbroken and I always replay with the same thing but I decided to make this video to make things clear about this device once and for all. Now going to look at the Desco's profile in here because you know he is the author of this jailbreak it says clearly quote to clear it up Yalu for iOS 10.1.1 for iPhone 7 will be updated at some point, just not a priority right now. Got stuff to do." End quote. So according to Luka Tedesco, the jailbreak uh, he created for um, iOS 10.1.1 and most likely later for iOS 10.2 will be updated to support the iPhone 7. For the moment it's not, well it actually is but partially. Uh, if you go in here to the betas, to the download links, from what I know the beta 3 should be working with the iPhone 7. I cannot guarantee that, but this is what I heard. So if you want to try something out and you're not afraid about your device, I don't know, getting uh, a lot of bugs, a lot of crashes, because we're speaking about a very early beta that is not extremely recommended, you can try ahead the beta 3. Now going ahead on Yalu in here you can see what beta 3 included and what other betas uh, actually added to the code. So um, if you look in here you're going to lose a GIT support, you're going to lose nonce enabler patch which is actually not working anyways on the iPhone 7 with the Prometheus method so you cannot downgrade. Uh, the TFP0 which is a task for PID which is again important for downgrading. The drop beer that now listens to 127.0.0.1 which is local host rather than 0.0.0.0. You can change that yourself in the plist but it's not that important as long as you prevent any connections to the SSH on your device. Then it fixes a vulnerability used to pwn the kernel and this is important. Now uh, in the beta 6 you're losing the fixes uh, for some issues with some devices and firmware combinations for TFP0 and non enabler patch so it's not something that will affect you and yeah so uh, definitely interesting uh, because it means that you can still use the beta 3 without losing some major features or without making the jailbreak extremely unstable if you want to test it out on the iPhone 7. This is what I heard the uh, iOS um, Tempo 1.1 jailbreak on the iPhone 7 exists using the beta 3 for the moment. So um, what about if you're on iOS 10.2 though or 10.2.1? Well as you can see in here look at the disco say that he's going to add the planet support in here is iOS 10.0.0 to 10.1.1 so not 10.2 but he says in here that if you're already on iOS 10.2 with the iPhone 7 you should stay there. The actual exploit behind this still works, but the KPP bypass does not. KPP is actually kernel patch protection and unfortunately is vital to bypass this or to at least try to patch it uh, before you can make a jailbreak. And unfortunately this exact exploit isn't working on the iPhone 7. Why is that? Well, the iPhone 7 changed a little bit the games and um, the structure of the iPhone 7 is a little bit different. It uses some hardware related security enforcements which uh, you cannot find on the other devices like the iPhone 6S, the iPhone SE and so on. So it requires a little bit of more fiddling in order to add compatibility with that. Of course it's nothing Look at the Desco cannot do but as he said he is busy with another thing so so you should probably be waiting a little bit. If you're on 10.2.1 though I have very bad news for you. You will most likely not be able to jailbreak it and unfortunately you cannot downgrade back. Even if you saved your blobs, um, from what I know Teamstar's tool for saving blobs wasn't compatible at the beginning with the iOS 10.2 so only a couple of the blobs might be working but from what I know 
Prometheus, or Future Restore, the tool he created for downgrades, is not compatible with the iPhone 7, so you wouldn't be able to downgrade anyways. But if you're on 10.2.1, do not update to 10.3 when it gets dropped. So if you're on iOS 10.3 beta on the iPhone 7, do not stay there. Go back to 10.2.1 while it's, it's actually still signed, and uh, you will probably be able at some point to jailbreak it. It's not guaranteed, but probably at some point, uh, look at the Desco or any other developer would uh, actually create something. But iOS 10.2 and 10.1.1 will definitely get a jailbreak for the iPhone 7. So do not update if you're already there and do not get, I don't know, fooled by others saying that the iPhone 7 jailbreak will never come. Look at the Desco said it will come and you definitely need to give him uh, his time in order to create this thing and make sure you always keep an eye on this page. This is the official Yalu page. And um, another thing to keep in mind is do not download anything that you see on the internet. If you see an IPA, especially on some, I don't know, fake uh, Apple store or fake IPA store and so on, claiming to be the iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1 or 10.3 jailbreak for the iPhone 7, then it's most likely not. And if it's not present here on yalu.qwertywoodyup.com, it most likely is a fake and um, yeah, it's very, very bad if you try those IPAs on your device because it can really mess up your device. So only get the IPAs from sources that post the source code, like look at the Desco in here. If the project is not present somewhere on GitHub in order for you to see the actual code, do not try that IPA. He actually advised you to do that uh, pretty often, but a lot of people still get that one year certificate thing and that's very, very, very bad because the sources are not trusted. But anyways, to recap this video, yes, the iPhone 7 will be supported. Unfortunately, for the moment, only till the iOS 10.1.1. iOS 10.2 jailbreak is also considered and also possible in the future for the iOS 10. Point, uh, sorry, for the iPhone 7 on 10.2. But the iOS 10.3 and 10.2.1 definitely not for the moment. So if you're already there. Would be better to stay to the lowest firmware possible, but do not expect a jailbreak very soon for 10.2.1. I really hope I uh, actually clarified everything and answered your questions about this device. Until the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow, peace out.